Hey everyone, Keith McPherson here. I'm so excited that you joined me for this yoga practice. This is Welcome to Yoga for Beginners. You know, it can be so intimidating to go into a, a yoga studio when you've never been before, you've barely been to yoga, and uh, get into a class and see everybody else doing all these moves and wondering, how do I join in? Like, I've never done this before. So this short sequence here is um, gonna be for you to practice in the comfort of your own home. And it's a way to just get more familiar with the alignment, with the body alignment. Um, as we practice today, I want to start off our practice with a quote. Uh, one of my favorite Rumi quotes says, Sell your cleverness and purchase bewilderment. So as we move through this, trying to move out of the thinking mind of, Oh my God, am I doing this right? And just start being aware of your body. You're doing it right <laughs> if it feels right in your body. If it feels like pain, switch it up, check out the video, see what I'm doing and see if you can mimic it. So. So let's begin, um, come to a seated position. Let's get your mat set up, come to a seated position and you're gonna close your eyes and we're just gonna do a little bit of breath work. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Another breath in through the nose. Exhale out. Sell your cleverness, purchase bewilderment. In. Exhale out. And then as you open your eyes, just slowly start making your way into a tabletop position. This means you're bringing your hands right underneath your shoulders. And your knees are going to be right underneath your hips. Good. And we're just going to warm up the spine a little bit here. So as you inhale, drop your belly down towards the mat and look up towards the ceiling. Breath in. Exhale, arc your spine, drop your chin into the chest, push down into the hands. Good, inhale, reverse, belly descends, look up. Exhale, arc your spine, come in. Keep going, breath in. Exhale out. Just noticing your shoulders here as you take a breath in. Inhale, feel the shoulders slide down the back as you look up. Exhale out. Okay, one more breath in. And exhale out. Great, very good. Come back to a neutral tabletop position. And from here, you're going to take your right leg and extend it straight back behind you coming into a little bit of balance work. So just reach your leg back and just pointing the toes towards the back of the room. Extend your leg back as far as you can. And then if you want this challenge, if you're brand new at this, just try this out. Take your, your left arm and extend it out in front of you straight off the mat. And just noticing here the elongation of your body as you breathe and reach in opposite directions. And if you get a little wobbly, remember, sell your cleverness and purchase bewilderment today. So just coming back in if you get wobbly. Good, and then lower down your hand, your knee. Let's switch to the other side. So extend your left leg out as straight as you can. Try to keep, keep your hips even so your left hip is in line with the right. And then just reaching back with the toes. And then when the balance feels right, try this. Reach your right arm straight out in front of you, up by your right ear. Feel your belly draw up towards the spine. There's also a little bit of core work involved in this, this posture. As you're breathing, you can even listen to the sound of your breath. Oh, hello. We've got a little cat joining us here. You must have known about the cat cow's jelly. <laughs> okay, and then bring your hand down, bring your knee down. All right, from here, you're going to curl your toes under and inhale, lift your hips up and back. This is a really common posture in yoga called Downward Facing Dog. You wanna try this with me? Okay, see you, Jelly. <laughs> so from here, you're just pushing your hands down. Just start bending one knee at a time. If this is too much for you, you can always lower one knee down here and just the other, and just break here. Otherwise, keep trying this out. Bend one knee at a time, Downward Facing Dog. And then really slowly start walking your feet up towards the top of your mat. Good. When you get there, step your feet hip distance apart. You're going to hang out in ragdoll pose. So just bend the knees, let your belly drape over the thighs, let your head drop. You might want to grab for opposite elbows with your hands. Just let your head drop. 
Yeah, and just let your whole body sway left and right, up and down. We're literally hanging out here at this, this yoga class. Just breathe. Notice on your exhales how all the busyness of your day drains out of your mind, out of your thoughts. Just ah, oh, let it go. Good. And then bring your hands onto your shins and inhale. Look forward. You can lengthen the legs a little bit here as you look forward. And then exhale, fold and empty out. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. Hands to the shins. Inhale, look forward. Feel your hips lift up. There's a nice length in the backs of the legs. And exhale, fold. <sighs> Good. One more time here. Inhale, half lift. Look up. And then exhale, fold. <sighs> Great. And then bring your hands onto your hips. Come halfway up. And on your exhale, come all the way up. Back up to the top to a standing position here. We're going to try a few lunges together. So keeping your hands on your hips, step your right foot back about four feet. And you want to place your back right heel down flat into the mat. Just take a look at your back foot. Make sure that your, your back right toes are pointing towards the top right corner of the mat. And then from here, shift your right hip forward, draw your left hip back, and lunge a little bit deeper into your left thigh. Good. And notice here, as you bring your weight forward into that front left foot, you're pushing down equal weight into your back right heel. Good. So the feet feel like they're pushing down and away from each other in this posture. Good. Draw your right thigh towards the back of the mat. And then from here, with that foundation of the feet pushing down, inhale and roll your arms up towards the ceiling, just spread your fingers wide, reach your fingertips up. The palms are about shoulder distance apart in this posture. Notice the shoulders slide down the back as the fingertips keep reaching. Now let's just notice the breath here. Take a breath in, exhale out. This is really a posture of letting go of all you've been holding on to mentally. And just being in that state of bewilderment now as you breathe. Good. Take one more breath in. We're going to open it to warrior two pose. So I want you to swing your right arm back. Your left arm reaches forward. You're going to heel toe your back right foot to widen your stance. And then just take a look down at your feet. Make sure that your back middle arch is in line with your front left heel. You're going to look out over your left hand and then slowly start lunging into your left thigh. As you're looking out over that left hand, drop your shoulders down the back. Feel your tailbone drop. Your belly draws in towards the spine. Find one place to focus on in front of you and just relax your face. Breathe here. Good. Come a little deeper into that lunge. Great. And then from here, turn your palms to the side of the room. Take your left elbow to the inside of the left thigh. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and you can even look up. Or if you need to, look down to keep your balance. You can take your left arm onto that front thigh as well here if you need some extra support. Just reaching up and breathing. Keep pushing down into your left heel. Good. And then inhale, come back up to center. Look out over that left hand and breathe. Great, and then bring your hands to the hips. Straighten your front leg. Heel toe your right foot back towards the top of the mat. Turn it forward. Step forward. Great. Lunging. Let's do the other side. So with your hands on the hips, step your left foot back about four feet. Notice the toes pointing towards the top left corner of the mat. Left hip comes forward, right hip back. Lunge into your right thigh here. Remember, feet down and away from each other. And then from here, roll your arms up. Inhale. Look up. Spread the fingers wide apart. Posture of celebration. Let's open it to warrior two. So take a breath in. Exhale, left arm swings back. Right arm reaches forward. Heel toe your back foot and widen your stance. Again, line up that back middle arch with your front right heel. Look out over your right hand and lunge into your right thigh deeply. Good. Just notice here that your right knee is directly above your right heel and not going way too much far, farther forward over lunging. 
You want sort of a 90 degree if you can with that, that front knee and heel. And then relax your face. If your face feels like solid rock right now, like you're hanging on for dear life, sell your cleverness, purchase bewilderment, and breathe. Good, and then you're gonna turn your palms again to the, in front of you. Take your right forearm to the inside of the right thigh. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Good, and breathe here. Option to rest the forearm on your front thigh as you breathe. Even a little smile can really help with this. Just being present in the moment. Great. Look down, keep that lunge in the front knee and inhale. Come back into warrior two pose. Look right over your front hand and breathe. Good. Take your hands onto the hips, straighten your right leg. Heel toe your back foot. So slowly coming back in and then step to the top of your mat. Bring your palms to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, be here now. Just one more of those breath in. Exhale, be here now. Great, and then staying at the top of your mat, we're just gonna finish off here with a balancing posture. You're gonna bring your hands onto the hips. Lift your right knee up in front of you. You're gonna point the toes and send your right leg straight back so that your toes are hovering just above the mat. Now, if you're really new to this practice and it's like impossible, like you're whoa, you can always just rest the toes down on the mat for a little extra support. Then from here, take your arms by your sides, and your palms face forward. Feel the shoulders slide down the back, bellies drawing in towards you. And the option here, if you feel like you got your balance, is to just start lifting your right leg up towards the ceiling, creating an airplane with your body. Just imagine you're flying above your mat. Good. Try to keep your right hip in line with the left hip as you breathe. Great. Bring your palms to the heart and take a breath in. And exhale, step back to center. Good. How was that? Let's try the other side. Take your hands to the hips. Lift your left knee up. Point the toes, send the left leg straight back, really activating that back leg. All right, and then the arms by your sides, palms face forward. And then the option to lift the left leg up. Just start flying above your mat. Good, you get to choose your airline here. Find the airline that's gonna fly you above all your issues as you look down at the mat. Just imagine you're flying above all of your your stress, your tension, you're just letting go. Bring the palms to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, step back to center. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, and then from here, you can actually come lie down on your, on your mat. You just extend your legs out to the back of the room straight. As you come lie down, just a final closing here. You're gonna bring your feet together Hug your right knee in towards you. Interlace your fingers either around the thigh or onto the shin. And as you hug your right knee in, keep the left leg extended. And breathe. Extend the right leg out, and let's try it on the other side. You're gonna hug your left knee in towards you. Interlace the fingers, draw the knee in towards you deeply. Feel the right leg extending out. And just imagine your breath is like water. So as you breathe in, it's like water's traveling up the root system. And it exhales, you're nourishing the body. Just getting distributed relaxation throughout the body as you breathe. and then hug your right knee in to meet the left. And as you draw both knees in towards you, just take three deep belly breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Another breath in through the nose. 
exhale out. Good, and then from here, extend your legs out, mat distance apart. Rest your arms by your sides with your palms facing up. Close your eyes and I invite you to just be here in relaxation for at least another two to five minutes. Just breathing, eyes closed. Sell your cleverness and purchase bewilderment. Please take as long as you like here. When it does become time to move out of the posture, you can just slowly start moving your fingers, your toes, moving the body slowly. And just coming to sit back up in a silent position with your eyes closed and breathe. And just take your time moving back into the rest of your day. Namaste.